on tomorrow's great day, we sit down with WNBA legend Cynthia Cooper as she details her journey from college to the Olympics and to the Hall of Fame. Plus, the bluesy sounds of the award-winning Keisha Pratt Band. Our next guest has always been interested in Africa, which led him to open an art gallery that specializes in fine art produced by African artists. And here to show us some pieces from his gallery, we have Lloyd Geit from the Geit Gallery. Hello there. Good morning. How are you? Good. All right. I think Africa is one of those parts of the world that is so misunderstood, but ever since you were a little kid, you've been fascinated by this continent, not a country, but a continent. <laughs> it is a continent. Yeah. As a child, I was just fascinated with Africa. My first trip to Africa was in 1976, and I haven't stopped going yet. Yeah, all right, so a lot of people were fascinated with Africa because they saw Tarzan and jungles and tigers and... Not true, not, not true. true. Right. <laughs> there is no Tarzan there. There are no jungles, and there are no tigers. Yeah, <laughs> some of the misconceptions, and what do you think some of the other misconceptions are? Um, that it's poor, that mm -hmm. everything there is poor. That is not true. If you look at some of the cities, it is amazing. Very modern looking like very, here. Very, very, very modern like here. You're right, yeah. All right. That's and a big misconception. Yeah, yeah. And some of their other wealth, of course, comes through their art. We are at a time where a lot of us will fill our homes with stuff as opposed to art with a story, with a feeling, with passion, with the history. And so you encourage people to, you know, hold off on the stuff and look for something that has meaning and value. Yes, invest in original paintings by artists, in, 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 my, in my case, African artists. Right. And that's very important. We throw money away on stuff that has no value. This art has value. All right, let's go through some of the pieces that you brought today, like this one right here. I love, if you think about cultures, Africans uh, in, in, in all across the continent have such a colorful, colorful Colorful culture. We love color. Now this piece right here is by Frank Ross. This is from um, South Africa. He's from South Africa. He actually takes a board and he carves images into the board and then he paints it. He also puts in little metal, metal pieces for the roofs. Uh -huh. He uses beer cans to decorate. It's just amazing the kind of work that he does. Yeah, this is one of those pieces that you keep looking at. You see something different every time and there's a, a look right there at that, that metal that you talked about like on the roof. On the so, roof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you don't have just paint but you have like mixed medium, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay, this one right here? This one here is by Sam Kobe. He's out of Ghana. This particular piece is one of our abstract pieces. People don't think in terms of abstract art out of Africa, but right. it, it happens. Now, uh, Tillman Fertitta's people bought a series of the, these for the new hotel. Yeah, and that new hotel is beautiful. I can see where this artwork right here would complement it perfectly. It's gorgeous. That's pretty cool. So you check into a room, you might look up and say, hey, That's hopefully, from it's the fixed, guy gallery. Yeah, hopefully it's fixed to the wall <laughs> because you know, it didn't find its way in someone's suitcase. We don't want that right. to happen. Go to, the, go to his gallery and get it like the right way, okay? And then this one right here. This is actually from Cuba. This is by Jesus. I started going to Cuba three years ago. So 95% of the art that we sell are uh, original pieces from Africa. 5% Cuban and Afro-Cuban artists. And this is one of our Cuban artists. And as you can see, they love color as well. Yeah, well, of course, you have the whole African influence. You know, exactly. a lot of people misunderstand the Caribbean and South America as well because mm -hmm. that's where Europe, Native American, and, and African all kind of come together. And the cool thing about this is that, you know, it's still sketchy on things that we can get out of Cuba. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. This next piece right here, the one right there, there. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right there, you are, right there. You've been in TV before, yeah, been so you understand TV how it works. Yes. Yeah. Like, This piece is by a Nigerian artist, and it is absolutely a wonderful piece. Look at the detail in this particular painting. And again, you talked about the color. Color is very important. And you know, it's also psychologically uh, helpful to have art and color around yeah. you. Yeah. People are always talking about, oh, that makes me feel so good. And I tell people, you should feel good in your home or in your office. Do something with vibrant art to make you feel alive. Yeah, and speaking of home and office, like some people will put a lot of thought into uh, picking that one piece, but then the next thing comes, where do I put it, right? Where do I put it? You all will actually go into someone's home and help them with the interior design and help them with kind of the, exactly where something needs to be. A lot of people don't know where to place art. Mm -hmm. We are very good at placing art. So yeah, we will come into a home and show you where to put your art, maybe even rearrange some of your existing art and we help them do that. It's, yeah. it's not, it's not brain Framing, surgery. That, which is so important too. That's another uh, area we do. Everything stuck. we do is custom framed. We do all of our own framing because a lot of people don't realize framing can make or break a piece of art. So we custom frame all of our pieces and you're now looking at some of the pictures from the gallery. And we the have lots of different kinds of art. Carvings, yes we do, but we primarily focus in on the original paintings by African and Cuban artists. That is so important. Yeah, yeah you can't eat it, sleep it, or, or drink it. 
it, right? But what it is is a record of our history, a record of who we are as human beings. And as you said, it brings life to any room, to any home. For more information on Lloyd Guide and the Guide Gallery, log on to greatdayhouston.com and we will connect you. I've been there before. It's a really wonderful space. Thank you very much for joining us, everybody. Have a great day.